Hello and welcome to my workshop. In this video I'm gonna make this piano bench look great again. Now the owner of this piano bench has mentioned that this could be well over 100 years old and when I looked at the sticker underneath the piano bench uh, and I saw it is made by the Thomas Organ and Piano Company in Woodstock and I did a little bit of an internet search and what I found is that the actual business name Thomas Organ and Piano Company came into existence in 1891. So, very well, this could be over 100 years old. Now, the bench had a facelift, so this uh, cushioned uh, top has been added uh, since the bench, but as far as everything else is concerned, this looks original. And in me fixing the bench, I'll try as much as possible to maintain that originality. Now let's see the damage, which obviously is the legs separating from the body. But let's see what that has caused to the rest of the bench. And let's see how we're going to fix it. And here are the grooves where these two tongues go in. Now, when I looked at it originally, I saw that there is a taper and I thought that the breaking of the legs actually caused that damage there, the breakaway of it. But upon closer inspection, I see glue right on top of the taper. So it could be that uh, it was intentional. So I took a look at the grooves, a closer look at the grooves and let's see if I can do it. And I can figure out why it was done that way. So I'm not sure if it's visible on the camera, but I do see a taper in here. So that leads me to believe that the grooves were actually made with a rotary tool, something like this. And that created that circular um, pattern here and they had to accommodate that pattern into the tongues as well and that's why they did that little cutaway. Now the other thing I can see is that the whole bottom is attached with nails and the breaking away of the legs has caused some damage to the bottom panel right here. Uh, we can see that the plies of the veneer core plywood that they were using have began to separate right there. So now I have to think how to fix it. Well, the tongue and groove are the easiest. A little bit of a cleanup of the groove, a little bit of a cleanup of the tongue, glue it and everything is done. I will be using epoxy because it's high strength and it's perfect for applications like these. Now, the more problematic would be how to fix the bottom panel. One way to fix the bottom is to remove every single nail, regardless of how crookedly they were nailed and create a brand new one. But when I do that, I'm gonna take away from the antiqueness of the project because I don't think I can match the color of it. Plus, the only bad side is the left side. So there must be something that can be done uh, to fix just that side as opposed to replacing the whole bottom piece. The second option that I discussed is actually gluing the bottom to the frame itself uh, as I am gluing the legs to the body of the piano bench. Uh, but that way it's gonna make things permanent just for that uh, one side. And if in future the bottom needs to be removed for some reason, uh, then it's gonna be quite hard to, to chisel off all that wood from that side of the frame. So I'm thinking of a third way of handling this. The third method is inspired by my resin casting and it involves creating a template from one end to the other so that it prevents any glue from squeezing out and falling over uh, from the cracks on the sides that we see right here. Once I have that template in place, I will fill every single void with glue and clamp it all together and that way the glue will bind to the wood, to the plywood that it's on there and fill any voids that exist. Uh, that way, the, once the epoxy cures, it will form a nice hard solid surface and I can basically reuse all the original nails that were previously used. So I have decided to go with the resin casting type approach and let's see what I have for setup. Now I taped off some of the backing board so that glue doesn't spill on it and this is what I have for the actual gluing setup. This is a backing board providing a nice flat surface and that's the corresponding one on the other side. 
Uh, on each side, like I mentioned earlier, I have those two sticks that will prevent uh, glue from squeezing out from the sides once I clamp everything in. Of course, everything is wrapped in cellophane so that the glue doesn't stick to it. I will be using a 5 minute epoxy, so the next 5 minutes are somewhat crucial to the project. Uh, I will put the gimbal uh, close to the action and we'll see how everything goes. That's it, that was the whole gluing process, all five minutes of it. I do feel the glue beginning to uh, kind of thicken and harden. So I'm gonna let it simmer, <laughs> not simmer, but I'm gonna let it stay for about an hour, maybe two, just to give it enough time for everything to cure. And then we're gonna do the unveiling and see what came out of it. So several hours have passed and let's do the reveal. We can see there is a little buildup on top of the board and that's what we were looking for. And the cases where wood was missing, there is a buildup of the epoxy there. And if I focus properly, you can see some of the bubbles. But I think at this stage, the bubbles are miniature. We have rescued the board and we don't have to do anything else to it. So right now, what I'm gonna do is trim that excess. Now let's get to it. So, uh, here is the first piece of additional damage and I didn't see it until I did a closer inspection of the legs right here and this is what we have. There, so those two legs or, or this particular leg uh, has separated and I'm gonna have to glue this set first before I proceeded to gluing it over here. The second piece of extra damage is with this leg and as we can see I can easily separate it from the glue joint. The challenge here is that this side is all good so what I need to do is remove every single nail that's here, pull out the side, clean it, glue it, put it back together and then glue the remainder of the piece together.
and there you have it. The broken piano bench is now fixed and has a new lease on life. And now it is ready for another hundred years of vigorous, I mean, uh, passionate piano playing. If you like this video, make sure to like, share and subscribe and also hit the notification bell to get notified of my future video releases. Also follow me on all social media channels and consider supporting me on Patreon. All the links are down in the description.